Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Thursday night. Hopefully you enjoyed your Independence Day, 4th of July, whatever holiday you might celebrate around this time of year, if you do. But, against my better judgment, I think we're going to be continuing with the rain on the rain slick precipice of darkness, episode 2 of Penny Arcade Adventures. Primarily because I looked after buying a lot of games from Steam. Uh, during the Steam sale. Bought quite a few, actually. I decided to actually return Swords of Ditto. Um, it looked honestly okay, but didn't definitely look like it didn't have... I don't know, I've been playing a lot of Gungeon lately, and at the same time, I kind of want a certain level of depth, and the art for the game looked great, but it kind of looked like... It just didn't feel like it was... had a lot of depth into the game. Or gameplay. Because I remember I didn't have exactly a lot of fun playing Binding of Isaac. Um, and I kind of got like the opposite feeling from it. But for now though, why don't we focus on continuing with the RPG from Hothead Games. We're now apparently a mobile developer. Play on the Rain Slick Precipice episode of Pre uh, Preface Episode 2. To actually make sure this actually works. There we are. First things first. Anytime I actually start this game, it starts up, um... It starts up in, uh, windowed mode. I don't understand why. Let's get things started, shall we? wait on the windowsill, where one god's blood was lately spilled, while black tongues lap the spreading pool and build the strength they need to rule. Well, this doesn't look like it's a good start. I don't even remember actually getting a new apartment. But for those of who didn't watch episode one, to summarize it really quickly, we we swiftly dealt with the god of silence. And we slaughtered him. And now there are apparently three gods remaining. So why do we go and kill another god? You want to load your character from episode one? Yes. There we go. At least they made this nice and easy process. Oh, cool. They even actually give you an option to, uh... Adjust everything. Huh. They even actually give you a few more options as well. Oh, nice. Well, I don't remember those being the same eyes I did... I had last time. Oh, well. That's fine. Maybe... 
Nope, still the same type of choices. Alright, now I'm not gonna worry about that. Let us just jump on in. And stick with the same character we used last time. Last time? A fat man fell down. We sucked up a mime soul. And a Cthulhu mime blew up. It's a very accurate description of what happened. Oh, right, and that giant robot that crushed our house walks away into the sunset. No one shall fuck a fruit this day. Hey, I got a new... I had a new home. Well, now we destroyed someone you else's home. You are a hard person to reach, you know. I've tried to contact you for months. You would do well to make yourself available to me. I cannot help you if you will not allow it, you see. And if you will not be helped, you will be destroyed. Oh, not by me, certainly. By the others. Or by one of these two. Hello, Tenmar. It's Tycho. Tycho Brahe, startling developed detective agency. Lovable brute Gabriel? He gestures at the, the lanky man bear, man bear beside him. The man bear waves. We're back on the trail. We're going to find that thing. The one that did all this. With a gesture, he indicates your dis, uh, diminished station, vastly decreased home value. I assume you want in. Uh, I've actually calmed down a lot. I've got one of those rock garden things now. I rake that motherfucker constantly. Yeah, but you used to kill people with rakes, remember? No? It was rake killing. Look, it seems like you're really busy there in, the shat in those shattered ruins. I bid you good day. The next day? Listen, we finally got a lead on your case. A roboticist, Dr. Jonathan Crazor, and Clara has found a link between the prototype and your destroyed house. Remember? We used to find prototypes together. It was good times. There were prototypes? You should come with us. I was thinking about starting a jam band, you know? Tycho recoils in horror. He scampers back to the truck in animal terror. The next day... Hey, so, you should come with us. We were thinking about going to the fair. Tycho closes his eyes, and then he shakes his head. Then he exhales. We're not going to the goddamn fair. You said we had to pull out the big guns. Tycho turns to face you. We're not going to the fair, but we are going someplace that is just as cool. Nope. Nope, I'm, I'm, I'm good here. I'm just gonna hang out, I think. Great! Hang, then. If you like hanging so much.
I'm saying I really just don't want to go on this adventure. Alright, no, we're not going to the fair. We're going to a goddamn lunatic asylum. I don't really want to. Oh, well, don't, don't! They've got this Krezor guy locked up there for some reason. You were there for us before. You brained people with yard tools. You coiled and then struck like an asp. Gabriel seems confused. Like a butt? You think he struck like a butt? Yes, Gabriel. Like a butt. Busy day today. You are killing me. Killing me. And I am dying as a result. I'm honestly actually just doing this for an achievement, for those wondering. I don't know how, how a butt would even strike, though. It's like, would it... Gabriel's eyes grow wide as a grim uh, revelation blooms. Taiko looks to you in desperation. Please come. Please come. Please, 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 please. I could, I could lead you in some breathing exercises. Yeah, that sounds real awesome. I'm going to, I'm going home right now and meditate my fucking ass off. Alright, oh, we've actually got our achievement. Let's go. <laughs> hey, so me and Gabe were talking and we couldn't remember something. Did you say you were going to come with us? Yeah, we forgot. Alright. That is, if you really want to. Yes, I do. Come on then. He extends a hand. Let's save the world. And go to the fair. Gabriel, shut your fucking mouth. Everything was going great, that is, until he fought the devil. Steal vengeance. And Claire's. His brilliant niece, a teen with a keen sense for science. Turn to your companion's map for guidance. Can be found in their startling developments detective agency. I urge you, make haste to Anne Claire's to follow this lead while it remains fresh. I'm going to assume. Oh. Ouchies, TM. No one, 25%, please. Anna, that. Oh. He'll <laughs> just pearls. Fuck Payne up the ass. He was one party member. Well, since it was Independence Day, we got the fireworks. I wonder why they had to change some of the items. I mean, this game... Whoops. Hello. What, Desperation Street is literally just this? God damn it. Oh, is that literally it? It's a fire hydrant for some reason. Can we actually destroy this? No. No, of course not. There you go, finally. And that's it. Alright, let's go to Anne Claire's room. Anne Claire, fourth win. Inventor. Genius. Teenager. Because we lost all our good buddies. And how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you had yourself a good a celebration. Iridium, the real heavy metal. Stone ground mustard gas. Ugh. 160 damage and bleed. This must give us a lot of new items. For all its Victorian tween presentation, the room reeks of factory oils. As you enter, its diminutive occupant brightens. Dear uncle, the heart leaps, child. You are a welcome respite from the machina machinations of a grim universe. Nobody is quite sure what to do with that. You remember Tenmar, I'm sure. The circumstances of that meeting were... unique. Of course, uncle. The curtsy is charming, if not entirely symmetrical. The ponderous wench may have thrown it off. Miss Forthwith and Claire, we must again intrude on your studies. The usual arrangement is in place. We gain access to your invaluable expertise. In exchange, we'll bring you that which your ex experiments require. Indeed, you could not have come at a better time. I am working on something substantial. For school, I hope. 
He does not answer. Hey, how's it going, Mitchell? This is the episode two of the Penny Arcade Adventures, originally developed by Hothead Games. Actually, an R it's actually an RPG. This actually makes it the, I guess, we're kind of doing most of the Penny Arcade Adventure games. The ones I own. I own episode one through three. I'm going to be playing through episode two. We'll see if I have the fortitude to go through episode three. There are four of them. I just only own three of them. He does not answer. What thing specifically? I bet we could find them. Gabriel polishes his nails on his shirt. Yeah, I'm always finding things. She nibbles her lower lip, insulting uh, some elaborate mental file. I just need a few small things. An old engine, nothing especially modern. Easy. Also, five bolts of silk should be sufficient. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and some... Really, a very small amount of raw energite. Energite? Are we thinking of the same dangerous, unstable, incredibly dangerous substance? Only one molecule, uncle. One tiny, beautiful molecule. Well, honestly, Nichiru, from my first experience with this, it's honestly a very, at least the first episode was very average. Because this is obviously leveraging the Penny Arcade franchise. But at the same time, it's trying to tell its own unique story. Well, I guess I'm still looking for a new place to live. Also, there's the self-insertion, so you it's like, it's fan fiction, fan service, RPG. That's really what it is. It's honestly very short. Uh, each of the games, to my knowledge, I believe, are extremely short. The first one took about six hours to actually beat. I'm looking for a place to live. Again. Again? Something did happen to the home, yes. And everyone is very sorry. Everyone also wishes we could just move on. And forthwith cocks her head. I ask because he basically lives out of his filthy office, and you live in an awesome mansion and build robots. Yes, well, she scoots a few of her tools around stalling. The short version is th it, the short version is that my brother, her father, never really liked being a brahe. Unable to sh shoulder our epic destiny, he left as a young man and built a new life. And Claire eventually discovered the secret, of course. Secrets are, to her, kind of de delicacy. What is the short version? The long version is considerably longer. The one that destroyed my house? That is before these two destroyed it a second time. And Claire forthwith nods gravely. In the prototype we found earlier, almost completely scratched out, was the name Krazor, uh, Kaz Blech, Krazor. As in Jonathan uh, Krazor, famous roboticist. She holds up an immaculately preserved copy of Whirly Gig magazine. On the cover, a man stands with his hands on a robot you have seen before. The caption reads, Krazor and friends, the Harvest Buddy nears completion. Harvest Buddy, you say? We know them by a different name. Our foe is a murderer and a plagiarist, and I don't know which is worse. Dr. Krasor is currently being treated at the infamous Cloyne Order, Sa Order Sanitarium. I will be very curious as to learn why. There you go. That's where we'll find this Krasor guy. Hopefully above ground. I want to make sure we're on the right track. Let's see. Car engine? Truck engine? What are we looking for? A tractor would be optimal. A truck would should suffice. Her temples seem to pulse with calculations. Yes, torque will be a concern. Are you a seamstress as well? To the need arise, I need five bolts of silk, all told. Do we just need to go to the silk store or... Maybe start a fighter, spider farm or... Spider silk would be perfection itself. Gathering it, gathering it in sufficient volume is the challenge. Energite, isn't that stuff bad? In the wrong hands, certainly. But in the right hands at the right time. Alright, we'll do our best. No need to rush, but it's important that you find them as quickly as possible. Alright. 
And Claire pats your hand, turning your palm upward to receive a kind of locket. There is no picture inside, there is only a button. Mother of Pearl, marked with the letters ACF. As before, you may press this button for, uh, for assistance, should you require. Young lady, I am concerned as ever that your school marks will suffer. Her laugh is almost elfin in nature. Fear not, uncle. I put something into place that should streamline the process. There we go. Well, that actually makes the first thing easy. I'm gonna actually just go back to the factory here. Let's see. Apparently we also needed to increase the difficulty. I don't know why. It starts at add gentle. Let's actually make sure we actually have at least somewhat of a challenge. Hello, Jim. We're back. But first things first. Let's get a truck. Let's get an engine. I believe I saw an engine here. There is an engine there. Perfect. And there's also apparently a chest. Good. So, I still haven't replaced my mouse. And apparently I just want to celebrate the 4th of July still. A bizarre, mysterious chest open in insane mode. So we're not as ready to beat the game to actually access that. Alright. I guess our first place is the Cloying Odor Sanitarium. Our door is always open. The Cloying Odor Sanitarium is a tangle of old secrets. Secrets that bite in the dark. Ah, the loony bin. Well, that was... I didn't expect to do that, but all right. Hold! These miserable creatures don't appear to have been entirely rehabilitated. Oh, yes. I believe they are quite dangerous. Together, we may administer a grave sedative. What say you? What? They just let these morphos run around outside? Are they like free range or something or some shit? Inspectors who come to look the place over often become patients before the inspection is in has concluded. It has created a somewhat lax atmosphere. So we could warm up on these guys then. Warm up? Well, yeah, maybe Tenmar is rusty. Sure, let's work out the kinks. No, I think I, yeah, let's work out the kinks. It's go time. We just got here. I think he wants to fight. Oh. At your approach, the throng becomes agitated. Well, more agitated. The madman sniffed the night air, finding you in it. It is in my power to make battles very easy for you. I can also make them more difficult. As requests go, that one is perhaps more rare. This was a breeze last time. I've done this before. This is my first time. It's like, it's just like, you know what I'm talking about. I've done this before. Yes, I, I think so. Consider it done. Now then, where were we? I like the narrator the most right now. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Any health bar or flash? Apparently, also give the middle finger. A perfectly timed block will result in a counterattack. And we'll keep all our stats. Each action, okay. Just attack. And we'll probably also do specials as well. Well, at least he's coddling his own brain. Jibber! Let's see. Uh, looks like. Oh. Okay. We're playing DDR now. That's not what I expected. What? 
How am I supposed to get that, pull that one off? Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, okay, I see. Well, at least they changed it around. They just get- yeah, I noticed it gets progressively faster. Shame I'm not- shame you don't get overkill unless you get- uh, unless you pull off a perfect. A new attack for player, license to till. Press the space bar as the arrow passes over each target. Hitting the perfect target perfectly will speed up the arrow. Missing the target will cause the arrow to slow down. Causes bleed. Well, I guess this is a good way to get started, at least. Try using your special attack. Alright. Two or more party members, uh, special team attack comes available. <laughs> Apparently, become very adept at using these abilities. And let's just probably actually an achievement for this. Nope. No overkill for that. I find that very counterintuitive, honestly. Pleased to meet ya. Press the A and D keys on the arrow keys as the pass and targets on to inflict more damage. Press both keys at the same time to deliver the final blow. Okay. Anything else? Collect items. Oh, it looked like I actually burned my entire stash of items. That's actually surprising. Click on flee, there is no penalty for fleeing. I don't want to leave. Let's see if I can actually... What? That's just not right. Unleash your companions whenever their initiative is full. Let's see what she does. It... Okay, that's pretty impressive, honestly. I've been playing a lot of Gungeon lately. That's also really powerful. It's cool, I got it. Let's see, shoot the enemy's targets as they appear by pressing the proper letter or arrow key, but avoid friendly targets. Be quick as the targets don't stay up to belong. Alright. Very straightforward. Probably just the higher levels get uh, stronger. How's it going, Techie Man? It's gonna show me not just any karate, but fucking karate. Maybe he learned something from the fruit fuckers. Never mind. Did we just win? Yeah, he ran away. Apparently, he just wanted a buddy. Wait, is there a phys there is actually a physics engine in this game? Initiative. Okay, so it literally is the same as last. Also, apparently, one person enjoys lactating. <laughs> ah, bollocks. I did not mean to get a counterattack. That is unfortunate. Well, this can hold a lot more items, apparently.
This is probably, honestly, strangely enough, probably the weakest part of the combat is the waiting. There we go. Constantly having to wait is insane. Ah, damn it. The bad trigger figure. Alright, let's see if I can actually do this. At least I know it's only A and B. <sighs> that is actually really difficult to pull off. skills. That's a lot of, that's a much higher attack. Suze, uh, Suvex Ultra. Pop a couple of these motherfuckers and you won't feel shit. Oh no, more fruit fuckers. Hey, natural 20. Why not? Let's actually just do this. Get some bleed damage. Juice. I'm guessing it only still have one, um, one style of, um, how do you call it? That was instant. Didn't even actually react to that. That actually is a lot harder for me to pull off. I've never been good at DDR style games. Also, apparently. I think I just lost. Nope, I didn't lose them. Okay, so. Oddly enough, bullets are actually weak. Did the dark green do it means anything, or am I just guessing here? There we go. All right, we can actually distract the robots. Completely forgot about that. Hundred sixties or mustard gas. A lot of mustard gas. I wonder if that affects all targets. There's a lot of enemies. I don't know, do I want to pay... Okay. Oh! Okay! Oh my gosh, he's... Now I can see if this works. Oh, so I can actually hit both of them. Interesting. Ah. Let's try this. Okay, so we can't hit all of them. I think, oddly enough, this is probably actually the thing that slows down the combat the most. Try this. There we go, finally got it. It's actually pretty difficult to pull off. Ah, I'm gonna die to the mustard gas. Oh, 
get at least one of these guys. And there goes your head. And apparently he had three rib cages. Everyone knows the human body has three rib cages. A quick save, control S. Really still feels weird using a um, game, uh, not a gamepad, a keyboard to actually play this. Although I will say the damage items this time around are a lot more useful. Especially this DOT effect. That's really hard to pull off. I think Gabe's instantly turned into the hardest one to actually pull off out of all the supers. I know I could be doing the team up attacks, but. Really? I thought I had it. Although I kind of like the expediency of combat in the first one a little bit better. The overkill. Hopefully that should do it. Shall hoe them. There we go. Oh! Okay, apparently we do this in waves then. I didn't expect to actually having to do this in waves. Might as well wait then. These guys are just gonna wound them, die to the uh, DOT. Gonna do it. Nope, let's not do it. Yeah, the mustard gas really useful. Hopefully, they actually have a lot of items around, like in the first one. Yep, I think that's four. Let's wait for another dot. One more. There we go. That should do it. That was a lot of damage they just got caught up on. Ah, oh, damn it! Right at the end. Yeah, Gabe is gonna be the hardest to get over kills with. Yeah, that mustard mustard gas is powerful. Well, at least we already got, I already got my overkill bonus maxed. <gasps> Excuse me, maxed out. <clears throat> there, in the mist, would this be the man we seek? He seems to soil himself with less frequency. They say only madmen know the truth. I don't know who said it though. It could have been a madman. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. New orderlies. I look forward to, be, to being brutalized in some creative fashion. I have yet to be seared by a hot iron during my stay. What a novel agony that must be. Uh, we aren't orderlies. No? That's a relief. I'd just gotten used to the brigands who currently operate the establishment. 
Who are you then? We're from the Startling Develops Detective Agency. I'm Tycho er Erasmus Brahe, founder. It might be difficult to explain what I actually do. Gabriel might be easier. He... I punch people. And not just for fun. No, no. I do it professionally. You know, I'm the... Gears deep in Gabriel's mind to be, uh, in Gabriel's mind begins to spin furiously. I'm a head puncher. And this is Tenmar. He is something of a new hire. Dr. Jonathan Krasor, at your service. I apologize for not having more pep. The constant beatings, you understand, they do weigh on a person. We need to talk about about your robotics work. Do you? Do you now? Well, I may need to get out of this wretched madhouse. Oh god, that voice is actually going to kill me. <laughs> talk to the man who runs this horrid place. A Dr. Lord Chandler Wolfington. He... A spasm crosses Tycho's face. Yes, I have made his acquaintance. Yeah, I... I guess you would. Oh, how jolly. Perhaps that will help. I'll do you one better. Secure my release papers, and I'll give you something startling. An air horn? Air horn indeed. Nay, sir, and again I say nay. Under ordinary circumstances, I would never part with it. But these are not ordin ordinary circumstances, are they? Oh god, I'm actually really going to lose my voice by doing that. I will give you a certain punch card, one prized in scientific circles. I mean, do you put them in things or yeah, I'm curious about this too. I didn't actually discover what the first card did in the in the first episode. Oh, then lean in closer, friends. Your merry band leans in, desperate to, for education. Dr. Krasor takes a deep breath. I'll never tell you. Now go get my goddamn papers. You don't seem especially crazy, Dr. Krasor. Don't I? Well, I'm not crazy. That may be part of it. I read in the Arcadian that you were committed here just before announcing your newest invention. That's a tad convenient for my tastes. I might rather call it inconvenient. Echo nods gravely. I'll concede to that. Help me out here. You suggested earlier that you would secure my release papers from Dr. Wolfington. In exchange, I agreed to divulge the nature of my research and give you a punch card with a monkey on it. Really, a reasonable arrangement. Well,. I'd write you a note to remind you, but... Dr. Krasor wriggles fruitlessly inside his bonds. Have you seen or heard anything strange? Ah! Ha <laughs> I see things virtually every minute of every day that defy comprehension. Is there anything we should know about this place? So much about it is terrible. Or odd. I hardly know where to begin. I know that the door to Wolfington's study is guarded by a self-sealing Strengthium hatch. Strengthium? But well, that's the... Strongest material in existence, yes, I'm quite aware. Dr. Krasor, how could a door like that be breached? I'm sure you have no idea, it's made of Strengthium. You could try wishing very hard, I suppose. It's been a pleasure, Doctor. Oh yes, it's been wonderful. Usually my days are filled with abuse. This is a rather nice change of pace. Ah, oh, it's a nice relief for my voice. Let's not attribute a gentleman with that type of voice again. The worst part was I was trying to actually do it for my stomach and not my throat, and yet it still was coming out from the throat. The place is aptly named. The reek of it, it uh overwhelms. Yes, well, time to go. You will try to survive, won't you? Death is no obstacle, certainly, but resurrections can be so tiring. 
Uh, I don't plan on gaming over, at least. Given how... Mm, it, this game hasn't been too difficult. I've come close to, uh, to gaming over in the first episode. That wasn't so bad. Let me hug your throat. It's a very interesting... A very interesting way. He's late! He must flee! And apparently spawn more friends. And now he wants to show us his karate. Feels kind of needless. At least they don't. At least we don't get him down to critical, and then they run away, wasting our time some more. I still don't like the uh, a lot of the combat, though. Just simply because having to actually physically click on them is honestly kind of annoying. Oh, I see the flash now. Ah, that's good. Yep. That's gonna be really difficult to probably actually upgrade um, Gabriel's weapons last, if I can help it. Well, let's get these guys as much damage as possible. Did he just run away? Stop him, he's supposed to die. Yeah, he ran away. Oh, never mind, okay. That's... This is weird. Oh, let's whittle him down. And take a while before he can actually. Hey, counterattack! Nice. Let's see. Probably need one more. Nope, that's actually more than enough. That is really difficult to do. I'm not gonna get over that. I got him three, just from that alone. Nope, I got him two. Dynamite! Light it, then throw it. Trust me on this one. Well, let's go beat up the world. That's apparently what we do in 1922. That was very classy during these times. You just walk up to a bunch of people, beat them up. Had no problem. I mean, that was the way to solve most people's problems. You just beat them up. That or shoot them. At least you get a free heal. Oh, come off it! That's the other downside. You can't see, like, a turn order or anything. This is honestly very annoying. I just want to get an overkill, but he heals. Yo, there's the counterattack. This is definitely gonna take a lot longer. Thank you. 
let's actually try. Never mind. We're just not gonna get this at all. Just let's try that again. Except with someone else. I wonder if you actually do start at level one if you have to start with a new game. What? I thought I clicked on him. <sighs> like, I... I don't even know what I'm clicking on. That's the worst part about this game. Like, that really is honestly actually the worst part, is you don't know what I'm clicking on. The moment I actually need to do it, the enemy does some sort of action. This actually might be one of the few games where it's like, I'm willing to say, the enemy gets more special attack, or more actions than you do as the player. Very weird to actually say. <laughs> this is just the first five points. This is the start of the game. I need to see what the, uh... I need to see what the end is like, having to get all these. Ah, just a block. At least I know Anne Claire's ability is incredibly powerful. What? I can't believe that dropped an input. Yeah, no, you're dead. Or not. Okay, that's fine. Works for me. Anything that gives me a chance for the overkills and get that done. These are really long battles. That's the really downside about this game. Like, having this type of system kind of sucks. And creating an incentive to get bonus damage this way. And in, in, in any RPG, anyone knows every single point matters. And so I had to play these inane... Like, I'm trying to think here. Like, I don't know, maybe you just enjoy doing Super Mario more. Super Mario RPG combat more. Oh, goody. Armor Eater. This might actually be better. Oh, that's... Oh, resistant versus basic attacks. Okay. That explains a lot then. Alright, guess we're gonna have to wait. Shame they don't give any stats effect yet. Okay. Alright, that does not do as much damage. That does not do as much damage as I wanted. Just want to use my special attacks. This is why game pads are better for RPGs. Maybe the only exception of like the super combo from Breath of Fire. There we go. That actually should help. Have to wait. Resistant to special attacks, but still, or basic attacks, but still. Are you kidding me? Does everything heal in this game?
Just god damn it. Yeah, I'm really hating this. Oh, there's no revive item. Alright, that's good to know. Good to know there's no revive items. Maybe. Oh, I should let me just get this overkill. And not heal. Not! I hate this game already. This is only the first part of the game, and they're already giving them heals, and their heals heal for over 50%. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. I'm actually gonna see if we can get him up. Nope! You cannot revive your teammates! That is actually terrible. That is really bad, actually. I don't know why anyone would want... I hate this game. This is... Ugh, forget it, I'm just gonna use the last mustard gas. Just freaking debuff him. Like, the mustard gas was actually super strong. I don't know why it's super strong, but it's really strong. And also, I will say, the enemy definitely does get a lot more attacks. There. This should do it. As if I don't screw it up. There we go. Get out of here. That was... That was dumb. That was really dumb. Dr. Hard's Assault Salts. Revive one party member. Sense include Dead Walrus, Slaughterhouse, Dumpster, and Whore Corpse. Oh, that's... That's nasty if they're they just allowed to heal that much all throughout the game. I'm guessing this is probably has robots. Yes, it does. Have some fruit. Buy me some time. Oh, that does not do as much damage as I thought it would. Hopefully this will actually do it. No, it doesn't. Can you blame him, man? It's a speed up potion. Someone needs a speed up. I think if anything, like I said, I think the best thing Hothead did was capture at least the art style. Like, you'd see the effort they put into it. Yep. 
At least they give a good amount of leniency with this. how the boy games actually did theirs because the other two episodes were from the are uh, from the Boyd, the people who made the uh, breath of death uh, game I'm trying to think about the other one so guess the Cthulhu saves the world okay we're maxed out the only person left that needs overkill bonus is Gabriel Crust Breaker, more challenging to pull off than the needle, uh, because the needle moves faster, but causes more damage and inflicts a more powerful bleed effect. Excellent. God, I hate this fucking place. I used to visit my dad here. My uncle, too. A lot of people. One day, dad just starts hearing things. Voice. Hearing this voice. Describing things. Ordinary things. He liked it at first. He said it was like living in a book. Eventually, the voice wasn't satisfied with that and started telling him other things. Things he should do. <clears throat> the woman at the desk is smiling. <clears throat> Welcome to the Chlorine o o Odor Sanitarium. Where we only ex electrocute when it is absolutely necessary. Sadly, it's almost always necessary. She doesn't seem especially sad. She glances at Tycho and then back at you and Gabriel. He's finally snapped, eh? What? No! He doesn't seem convinced. The Cloyne Odor Sanitarium is a state-of-the-art uh, state mental health facility. With Dr. Lord Chandler Wolfington at the helm, we take bold steps to reclaim lost minds. How do you do that, exactly? By oh, shocking people over and over again. And what else? Other things. With electricity. I mean, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? She seems surprised at the question. Well, certainly you. How well do you know these Brahe's? We saved the world once, that's about it. Then you should know these Brahe's are an odd lot. It goes about turning over dark old stones. A sort who never saw an evil crypt they didn't want to know better. Good for nothing, worse than nothing, hauling their in in iniquity back to the civilized world. You're too kind, really. The kind of men who read the wrong sorts of books. I always enjoy our conversations, Pearl. Do you guys, like, have a shed, or...? We only accept patients, but I'm sure we could find a bed to strap you down to. Also, her voice lowers. I understand the enemas are top rate. Do we just take a number, or...? Pearl holds her chin in her palms and sighs. She sighs again. There's a third sigh. A vast thing, sufficient to push, push a galleon. Can we, um, help you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. It's really so dreary in this place, isn't it? We really need to talk to that guy. It's really so dreary in this place, isn't it? It's an asylum. Yes, Mr. Brahe, it is. But a little color wouldn't go amiss. All right. I guess she done something. She scratches a note on her pad, nodding gravely. All right. I guess she wants something. That's locked. So what do I get her? What the heck? Oh. Does she just want- no, she doesn't want fruit. You doubt scenes like this occur in nature. A very, very interesting statue of Dr. Wolfington. Oh, 
Well, at least it's unlocked concept art. So what, do I just leave? That doesn't seem quite right. I just got here. This is the first area. Maybe the... Maybe Dr. K uh, Krazor has something. Definitely say this game doesn't mind taking its time. Alright, Doctor. No trouble. uh, no trouble getting the papers, I should hope. Well, for example, just last night- I'm taking a break from doing that voice for a second. The entire building shook and swayed, or, se or seemed to, I suppose, ha. Huh. There was a clanking and groaning like that of a great clock counting down the hours until the end of the world. I glanced out the window and what I should see but two massive red eyes burning in the darkness. Echo and Gabriel glanced at each other. Ha <laughs> ha I wouldn't put too much put much stock into it. I certainly don't. At night they'd stuff our mouths with psychoactive pills, and I believe aquarium gravel. This is known as our midnight snack. Okay. She doesn't have anything. They, they literally just want me to leave, and I just got here. That's very odd for an RPG, but I guess... I'm honestly, like, I'm just ready to go to Anne Claire. That seems to be, like, the default thing to do. Need to advance the story? Talk to Anne Claire. She'll know what to do, because apparently she knows all. And Tycho is apparently only a know-it-all. Oh, there's another frog. Go get. Let's go get some machines. Roll for initiative. At least these guys don't heal, so it'd be pretty easy to actually max out, uh, Gabriel's thing. At least as long as they do it right. And I don't do that right. That is a very small window of time they let to actually let you block. I'm not surprised they stuck with the same combat system, though. Let's see. Let's see how much damage that actually does. He actually blocked. I'm surprised. And we max out their damage. Very nice. Alright. I guess we're leaving this place. We can actually upgrade a weapon already. That would actually be very nice to have. White Christmas. 1,280 damage. When science resists, magic can oblige. Lamp is very lampy. Good to know. Oh, 
They are lit. Wow, they actually. I was taking. I was honestly backtracking to see if there was anything I could find or any items and such, but apparently not. Oh. Oh, good. I actually needed that. Uh, nope. Oil's not what she wants. No chance for concentrated evil. I think I'm actually maxed out on items already. Alright. Let's go to Aunt Claire and hopefully she can tell us what we need to do. Hey, Aunt, what's... Your entrance has generally started her. Papers are shifted and heavy tools placed atop. I've made a miscalculation. I thought I could do it without it, but I can't. I can't. And Claire swallows hard. I need a golden 14 millimeter bolt. No sweat. Is there a place we usually can get those from? And Claire's anguish is almost too much for Tycho. He cranks up the chivalry. We shall scour the Riverbrook Park Estates, Miss Forthwith. I understand gold is in ready supply there. Okay. Also, the Symposium of the, on the Future of Man begins today. I would go, but the project is at a crucial juncture. In any case, it should be thick with scientists. Glad to hear Dr. Krangle's keep note. Ah, okay. She glances across the room at her poster, allowing herself a momentary sigh. Her expertise may be of use. Hopefully it'll do the trick. Is it on the platform? It is ready for the crane, yes. In its condition? Good. Kind of. And the other items I requested? I don't wish to be rude, but... The search continues. Let's see. We have an... An ancient secretary. Flowers are trite, but traditional. As an opening gambit, flowers may have a role to play. Assuming it's even possible? It couldn't hurt. Unless the flowers have thorns, she might have in inadvertently grasped the stem. Precious niece, you always consider every eventuality. And they're still dropping those weird little parts. Let's put them to good use. Just before I'll improve your weapons with whatever parts you manage to earn. Okay. Can you make it less like a hoe at all? He takes the tool gingerly, finding its center of balance. I am charting a course for the simple machine that does not ask to be less like a hoe. When I am finished, it'll be more like one. Is that a good thing? Do we want that? But work has already begun, and it is and it is over just as soon. Okay, that costed 150, about 148. A twin hoe. Four. Wow, they really asked to. They, uh, they really upgraded the stuff. Alright. So I need flowers, then. It's not the best. Loading? Um... Oh, don't tell me I broke the game. I think we broke the game. I think I actually broke the game. This is actually really bad. Well... I broke the game. Alright. At least Alt F4 always works. That's a, that's a wonderful start to this adventure. Let's resize. Let's try this again. Now. Let us continue, hopefully. Oh good, I have a double hoe. Okay. <laughs> let, us, let us leave this item here. So we have two areas, Symposium on the Future of Man and Riverbrook Park Estates. It's getting a lot more areas to explore. 
Uh, let's see. Let's try and actually get the flowers. So let's go to the Riverbrook Park Estates. I'm assuming flowers would be there. The Riverbrook Park Estates are the seat of new Arcadia's wealth and power. If not its morality. Our new public... Our public gardens... Please keep stealing our flowers. We should release the hounds. Another one of those mysterious chests. Open in insane mode. They really do want you to play through the game twice. Jewelry for sale? Legitimately obtained. Alright, let's talk to Kurt Swindwell. Curtis? Is that you? The shock is evident and tectonic. He works to regain his composure. Wait, what? How am I able to highlight the word? I'm not the... How's tricks? If he recognizes you from before, he doesn't reveal it. I am Curtis Swindwell, reputable vendor. I sense a hunger in you, a hunger for bargains. As a purveyor of the unbelievable yet wholly legitimate merchandise, I'm in a position to satisfy you in absolute terms. Let's see what you've got. Curtis Swindwell takes just a moment to arrange everything just so. Yes, as you see, I've brought the world to New Arcadia. This beautiful diamond ring I just obtained. This golden bracelet from the same vendor. And this broken piece of valuable antique. How much for the diamond ring? It's a lot, right? Ten million dollars. That price does include tax. Oh, thank goodness. How much for the bracelet? I kind of have my eye on it. A million dollars, but remember, much of that, that much of it goes to charity. Oh, which one? The, uh, Curtis Swindwell Foundation for the Betterment of Curtis Swindell. I see. Keep in mind that it is very old, and on top of it is complete, broken completely off. Seventy billion dollars. The sad hunk of a phonograph reeks of whiskey, sex, and regret. Have you heard of any vacancies? Yes, friends, yes. There is a vacancy in your life that only these amazing products can fill. His arm sweeps over his wares gracefully like some magician's assistant. Oh, huh? He continues to hold the pose. Well, I guess he doesn't have a uh, place to live. Do not tarry long. Bargains of this magnitude cannot endure. A daisy, gift for pearl. Simple, yet ele elegant. But mostly simple. Am I literally going to crack open a Fabergé egg? I am actually going to crack open a Fabergé egg. And a trash can. This is a place of wealth indeed. Oh! We actually fight the townsfolk. I did not consider that. Well, apparently she's weak versus punches. Don't you kiss me? Oh, he actually protects her. Well, good for them. Ah, oh, that's actually not what I wanted, but oh, whatever. Well, say goodbye to the boyfriend. I probably should just click the profile, see if that actually does anything, does it better. Well, let's see what this does. It's a double hoe. Do it actually. 
That is a strong kiss, I'll tell you that much. Alright. Partial block. Be more than enough to actually finish her off. Probably should have gone for the slower one. Make her lose her legs. I have no idea what those items are, but they are... They don't even tell me what they are. Okay. Alright, well, before I go to the Burke, uh, the Burke Estates, let's actually just go back and see if we can go back to the sanitarium. Hopefully the enemies shouldn't have... Oh, I do that long walk over again. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. I was about to say. That'll be a very long walk. That'll be a very long walk. And apparently, I don't know how to smack this. Nope, can't inspect the noose. That's fine. Let's go give this flower to Pearl. The woman that is hello again, Pearl. There's no pleasing this hag. What did you say? Uh, he said, have you seen my book bag? No. Check this out. Hmm, I don't know about the color, though. Actually, I do know about it. I hate it. Uh. Nope, apparently... It's clear what she wants. She wants a tulip. Well, let's apparently go find her a tulip, then. Alright. How much for a daisy? Oh, they are not going to make me do it this way, are they? Irises, gift for Pearl, also called forest flowers. Irises are pretty badass as pretty plants go. They are, wow, they're literally going to make me do this. They are literally just going to make me give flower after flower until at least some point. All right, fine. If the game wants to play this way, we shall play it this way. Hello, Pearl. I'm just trying to sweep you off your feet so I can get in. Check this out. Hmm, I don't know about the color, though. Actually, I do know about it. I hate it. Fine. I also just noticed the cat. And that was a mistake. Alright. Let's try and actually do this right. Any new flowers? Or not? Okay, the flowers aren't there anymore, so clearly it must be somewhere else. Let's go see if we can find some tulips then. As we destroy everything in sight. And also a seagull. Come on. There we go. Actually, I'm curious to see how much damage Anne Claire will actually do. If she really does do as much.
Hopefully it won't kill them. Hopefully they're strong, made of strong stuff. If not, oh well. Oh well. So it's 1,500 every time. <laughs> New attack for Gabe. Vulgar Arc. Press A and D as they pass through. Inflict more damage. This one's more difficult, but does more damage and has a chance to stun. Nice. Let's go kill more yuppies. We're allowed to call them though, that, that, right? Ah, that... I need to just start clicking on the portrait. That seems to be the easier thing to do. I think they're weak against punches. I believe they're weak against punches. Ah. Let's see how difficult this one is to pull off. That's very difficult to actually pull off. That's very difficult to pull off. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, she ran away. And she healed for full. No. I swear, half of the time I know I should just be looking at the health bar, but I always keep looking at the animation. I don't know why I keep making that same mistake. <laughs> Off with her head! And reveal four wit rib cages. There you go. I guess half the comedy I'm missing is just come, just comes from actually talking to uh, Gabriel and Tycho. Purple car. It's popular with jerks. Symposium. I need to find a tulip. Unless I actually do need to just find rows after rows after rows. Maybe not. I mean juice. What the heck? Gilderoy? Oh. Gabriel approaches the machine, his face distorted by the curve of the tank. How do we get this fucker home? Let's see. These could really be a hit for Mother's Day. Yeah, too bad my mother is dead. Sensing this might go on a while, you rest the flowers gently against the warm flo floor of the gilding bell. You step back, wait a moment, and nothing happens. I am a genius! Taiko gives you the thumbs up, and you don't think he's being ironic. Gabriel begins to smack his lips. You place the chocolates inside, you carefully retract your hand. You wait, eyes wide. And nothing happens. There's ever so much to see. 
It is said that the Josiah Gilroy truly hated dogs. You think there might be some truth to that? The Gilderoy's thick, largely soundproof uh, bell is, is a convincing argument for the existence of hell. If not a literal hell for dogs, then almost certainly a damnation for the machine's twisted creator. This mockery of a dog's domicile hurls ribbons of amber light in the sun. It projects an air of unmitigated canine ecstasy, frisbee slicing the summer breeze. Redolent with honeysuckle and sweet clover. It is more is rather more silent on the topic of boiling gold. Turn your attention to slightly less horrifying matters. I think we're done coating things with gold, at least for now. Gabriel attempts to conceal his disappointment. Interesting. Museum of Things. Apparently I can't examine the Museum of Things, but I can't break this uh, light bulb. Wow, you won with a nine. <laughs> I really need to start clicking on the portraits. Watch the health bars. There you go, that should do it. Hey, goodbye to your ribcage. Rip cages, I guess. My dear, I believe you're strong against bullets. Only 500? Oh. Oh. Well, she's dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you win this battle, romantic, overly romantic couple. Irises. Take a look to see if I can find some tulips. That is... Wow, this place is... They weren't kidding by going to the extremes there, covering this place in gold. Alright, still need a gift. Gold. Where am I hearing these dogs? Oh, there's four of them. That's a shame I'd already used my, um... many punches as possible. What? Did they literally change their formation? Hopefully that'll do it. Nope. That's not gonna do it. Oh, 
We got stuns. Will you do? What is going on here? Will you do? Or not, she's apparently really resistant to bullets. Yeah, this combat's really drawn out. Oh, don't tell me that was a miss. That was a miss, damn it. I'm never gonna get that last one kill. You. Jeez, I just wanted to freaking shoot him. There we go. That should do it. I shouldn't need anything until I get next another weapon upgrade. All right, let's go. Let's speed things up. Really difficult. Just need to find a lot more flowers, apparently. Unless you wanted the rose, then I would be flabbergasted. Let's see. What's this? They've got one of these, huh? I guess they would. What is it? They're like little mechanical banks. You move in to inspect the equipment. You take a closer look at the display. It shows a simple two-frame animation of a rich person beating someone to death with a gold bar. You examine a little closer at the slots in the machine. One slot has an image of a card being inserted. The other has an image of money being dispensed. Gabriel taps, uh, taps it with his index finger. I think this one's my favorite. The pad is a cluster of numbered buttons, starving for input. Fine chocolates and bits of steak are caked between the keys. Okay. Oh, someone's house. The gate is locked, presumably to keep people like you out. Well, this was during the time of the Gilded Age. Another white Christmas. Very nice. Especially with all the HP these enemies actually have. Why that? Oh. All right, let's actually kill these guys. Be a lot faster to do it this way. Okay, they're resistant to shotguns. Why are people resistant to bullets? I did not mean to click on her. I... 
I'm really annoyed, honestly, by... This is why you don't play RPGs with keyboard. It, it honestly is not fun. Because half the time, it could just be a simple misclick. That's all it actually takes. At least this goes faster. Unless she blocks. A new attack with Tycho, the Fall of Man. More challenging because there are more enemy targets and less reaction time. Hit all the targets to uh, times runs out. Okay, so it's just increased damage. Is that money? That is not money on the floor. Guess I have to keep collecting flowers then. Ah, that actually might be it. A tulip, perfect. Cash receipt, money withdrawal. A fragment of piece of paper of a scrap, uh... She you know, appears to read one. I don't know where I got that from, but okay. I also need the mustard gas. I like how that was actually at the end of the road. Something tells me I can only coat a dog of gold. More machines, perfect. Actually go and get some more parts. Release the machines! Probably actually shouldn't be taking these fights, honestly. I mean, these fights I actually should. But... It's actually, hopefully I can get Anne Claire. Anything to make this go a little bit faster. You know, I honestly would expect a weapon like that to exist in Fortnite. There we go. Ah, it's beautiful. Also, apparently I found some art. Oh. Another piece of paper. I find all the pieces of paper. Probably not, since I'm not, that's not, that hasn't been my focus. No, nope, we already took care of that one. Grab this flower too, let's grab the rose. Probably two more pieces of paper somewhere else. Alright, let us go back to the sanitarium here. Let's try this one more time. See if we can get Pearl the flower she wants. Nope. I was hoping for new items. Let's not waste our- let's not dawdle for this. I was kinda hoping to finish the, one of the pl one of the zones tonight. But at least I'll hopefully win the heart of Pearl. Check this out. Hmm, I don't know about the color though. Actually, I do know it. She hates it. This do anything for you? Well, pink is my favorite. You should know, it may come in handy someday, that a bouquet is typically three or more flowers. She leans forward, steepling her hands over at the desk. Her smile is a vicious thing. You can open a can on it. Well, here you go. You might not have heard me before, I understand you've been busy. 
But I do want to make sure we understand each other. Okay, is three or more flowers? Uh, do you want to hear in a funny gag? No. Okay. Apparently I need three of them. Pearl, you're a very difficult woman to work with. I should have actually guessed, considering it actually had a portrait of three flowers, but... That's my failings. Actually, speaking of failings, let's actually go and... Let me actually go back and see if I can upgrade my gears. I probably can. To find three tulips. Ugh. Or at least two more. The worst part is I don't even get to see my inventory or anything. Let's see. Let's upgrade our weapons. Let's see. Here's a big old bag of robot parts. With the rifles I never wanted for oh, I never wanted for good ideas. A shotgun is just very very obvious. It is alien to me. I cannot peer into its nature. And Claire sighs. I will do my best. And she does! Double barrel shotgun weapon upgrade. That's right, motherfucker. Two barrels. Tycho claps. Our foes will fear it, and that is the deep truth of the matter. It is twice the weapon it was, Poppet. And I mean quite th and I mean I mean that quite literally. Let's see, still need 106 parts for Gabe's upgrade. He was so close. And yet so far. That's a shame. But at least I got another part. Well, let us go back to Riverbrook here. Ah, eh, I, I don't blame I don't blame Pearl for being fickle. I mean, how would you like just simply getting a single flower half of the time? Not exact not exactly something to sweep someone's off their feet with. Apparently only can have up to two white Christmases. That's a lot. Still, having to find three tulips is going to be kind of difficult. I did not see any others. As I was playing. Can I even go into the background? I can. Uh, but nothing to do with the door. That's the coins. Got a slip of paper. Money withdrawal. This is a slip in poor shape. It appears to read three. I didn't remember seeing any tulips, though, unfortunately. More dynamite. At least we can use that. Gentlemen's Social Club. Well, given that portrait, I think I knew who's there. I, s I seriously just can't go anywhere, can I? This game just wants- this game is gonna have me wander around this place. I think I needed four co- four digits? Oh well, let's go try. Let's go fiddle with the machine again. You dig through potions, you, uh, ungents, and other items, eventually tracking them down. You can make just, uh, you can just make out a one on a crumpled sheet. A slip doused in rich gravy, you can just make out the number three. A nine is barely legible on the scrap. Let's see. Nope, I don't have the code yet. That's a shame. Please make use of our portable banks. Okay. Alright, uh... 
Well, I guess we can take a look at see the symposium of the future man. I'm guessing this is probably the place he's going. Men gather at the symposium on the future of man, huddled around the cold fire of knowledge. And we can take a daffodil. Take a look at the portraits. Mr. Tails. Cyrus. Monkey Fighting Robot League. Sounds like an anime. An epic trophy with a monkey on the side and raw Energite dancing inside. Well, that's how we're gonna get the Energite then. Krangle's visit has dredged up the worst of the breed. Dr. Dre and I are usually arranged to be at different conferences throughout the year. I attend symposiums and lectures while he can be found at seminars, round tables, and powwows. I am not a superstitious man, nor do I place stock in supernatural phenomenon. But I believe with every fiber of my being that Dr. Dre is, in fact, the devil. Oh, good to know. Good to know you think that highly of him. Are you enjoying your se- There is to my mind an abundance of mimes this year. And wizards or undertakers or whatever that blood character is trying to emulate at this most this moment. Nor am I impressed with the cheese selection. I guess he's not having a good time. Good evening, sir. Would you like a tickled crump? I I want the crump. Give me the crump. It's all very exciting. You got that right. You see, there's Dr. Twee. Sup, Twee? He waves at a man across the room. The man flips him off. We were roommates once. Something happened to his parakeet. As in, it got really big. I had this crazy ray I was working on. Oh, and I guess got, uh, Dr. Quattromane is here, so that's awesome. I wonder just how awesome it actually is. Let's see. You can't be serious. Oh, I can assure you, we are quite serious. About whatever you were talking about. What are you talking about? This is a convention for scientists. Everyone here is a scientist. Even the waiters have advanced degrees. I'm the only receptionist. I'm an associate uh, goddamn professor. Madame, I have a doctorate in apocalyptics. I'm sure your mommy is very proud. I'm talking about science, the engine of the future. Not a gaggle of shaman in the woods somewhere gibbering about the end of the world. She turns her attention away, doodling for obscure formula. It seems cool. This is a posium on the future man. Did you stumble in here off the street? The keynote ten is tonight. Dr. Lars Krangle, of course. You have no idea who that is. I mean, the symposium proper? Do you have a ticket for tonight? We don't. And I'm sure that even you can figure out that a the answer. Or use divination or sorcery or something. Are you a sorcerer? Not like a sorcerer sorcerer, no, but... Dr. Bromide holds up a hand. Okay, yeah, I've heard enough. That's quite the trophy. It's very desirable. That's for the winner of the Robot Monkey, uh, Robot Monkey Fighting Tournament. Though I wouldn't get your hope, little hopes up. In addition to the prestige it carries, is, uh, the which is considerable, the trophy is also capped with a molecule of pure Energite. And we're talking EG239. Not that e EG244 bullshit. Is that even a thing? Of course it's a thing. Robot monkey fighting is between programmable simians is fundamental to scientific inquiry. There is no truer expression of our desire to know that the honored tradition of cybernetic monkeys getting totally crazy. Is there like a form or something? I do have loners, but Dr. Jillian Bromai chews her lip. You know what? Listen, I'm invested in your failure. I'm going to make this happen for you. She leaves and then returns. A bedraggled thing in tow. Nobody uh, seems to want this one. It's seen better days, but it should still execute programs. 
Mr. Tails. Mechanical monkey simians are the our core component of scientific culture. Now we have a new case. We need credentials. The shivering creature scampers from the receptionist, taking refuge behind Gabriel. The door to the battle pit is over there to your left. Battle pit? You'll need to find your own monkey cards. We use those to program the simians. Somebody around here probably has one. Is there anything else we should know? Yes. She leans in. You're fucked. A small sign reads, Two monkeys enter, in all caps. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. There's another tulip. Hopefully we can find the second one. And there we go, we found a third one. And also Rose. Excellent, that's what we needed. Hey, I think it's that ex-mime we talked to in the last game. How's things? <sighs> things are butt-fucked. What? My wedding is tonight and I lost the goddamn ring. You're getting married? Yes, that's what the wedding is for. Will you have snacks? Yes, we will have snacks. Gabriel closes his eyes. Tell me about the snacks. Well, uh, let's see. We've got caramels. No. Yes, actually. At this, Gabriel begins to chew and chew. How long is he going to chew? I have shit to do. Well, if I know, it's an imaginary caramel. I guess he can eat it as long as he wants. Anyway, it sounds like you need help. You ain't lying. I'd give all my worldly possessions for a ring. Finding a, a ring, a regular non-evil ring, would be like a vacation for us. Well, like I've said, I've got shit and I'll trade it straight across. A blessed union of souls. What kind of possessions are we talking about? It's not like a bunch of invisible mime shit, is it? No, I'll give you, uh, I'll... He's pawning through his pockets now, truly strip mining them. I'll give you this. He holds up a tiny key. It's a key to a safety deposit box. Fix this ring problem and it's yours. What's in there? I don't, um, remember. It's been a long time since I needed to deposit something safely. That might have been a good place for the ring. Man, look, I don't need this shit right now. Enjoying the symposium so far? I know I'm enjoying it. I'm excited to hear Dr. Krangle, but this place is kind of loud. I was a mime for a while, remember? I seem to recall something about mimes, yes. Oh, and as long as, uh, as long as I don't have to talk to that damn Dr. Twee, I'll be fine. I'll muddle through somehow. A lot of gears, too. More daffodils. More gears. Topic of interest. Rare bolts. Whoa, those are some great bolts. What's a guy gotta do to get one? Can't give you a bolt unless you have a good reason. These are incredibly rare. He gestures at the sign. And we need these bolts. Like, for our collection. No. What if... What if we told you that... What if we told you that we liked shiny things? That's not good enough. For we're doing a story on bolts. For a real magazine. Not like those websites. Websites that don't exist. Yes? Gabriel takes a running start at it. Hello, I'm Jonathan Gabriel, and this is Tenmar for Bolt Week. Of course you are. We're doing a special feature on bolts for the next issue. We just need a few samples. You'll have to contact our press department. How do I get in touch with them? It may be difficult. They do not exist. I heard that bolts are... good for that. Gabriel tries another tack. We are birds. We need shiny bolts for the nests. I sincerely doubt that. Please? We're going to keep asking for bolts over and over until you break. That might be a while. Look at all those bolts. We only want one. You wouldn't even miss it. Bolts. The bolt man pretends to be very interested in something else. 
Hey, doesn't Aunt Claire need these, you know, for a science thing? Indeed. What purpose? For science! Is that so? Well, well. Why didn't you say so? I, um, did. Well, yes, of course. What size bolt is she looking for? Any chance I can get a 14 millimeter bolt? Before he can even complete the question, his tray crashes hard to the floor. He stares at you with a growing horror, as though the skin of your head had split to reveal a glistening face meat. 14 millimeter? No right thinking! 14 millimeter bolts! They're not made, they're not used! <laughs> Ooh, that actually took it out of me. The terror in his eyes reaches its crescendo. What are you making? No, it, it's fine. I'm sorry. It was just a guess. I don't know what size she actually needs. There is a niece, then. Yes, there is. He seems to regain his composure. As, sh as the shaken bolt man leans to retrieve his wires, Tycho kneels to assist him. His eyes seem to be focused elsewhere. Tycho discreetly slips the 14mm bolt into his pocket. Construction item. Decent, but not especially noteworthy. Recommended for only for those for the most devout bolt enthusiast. Well, at least we got one of, uh, one of Anne Claire's items. That the daffodil's yellow anarchy seems to say, Hey, you motherfucker, wipe that off your fucking frown! Really, you should actually... You should always not have a frown. I don't have anything to go off of that. But I think that's actually going to do it for us tonight, as... Gabriel, I... Gabriel... Gabriel's stuck, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriel, you're stuck! How, how the hell did he get stuck? Alright, fine, whatever. He's stuck. Let us actually go back here. <laughs> so tomorrow, we'll actually go back to the Cloyne Odor uh, Sanitarium here, and hopefully we can actually make... Uh, some actual progress, and we'll give Anne Claire her bolt. For now, though, that's gonna do it for us tonight here. Speaking of which, let me do... How do I save here? Let me save. I'd like to do a normal save here, just in case. And let us go and take a look and see... An album. I do not have any albums. Huh, shame. Let's go and take a look here and see who else is streaming tonight here. It is a Thursday night and there is a lot of people streaming tonight. So, probably to actually run down the list here, there's Super Genius. He is actually streaming Persona 5. He's actually finally gotten around to playing that game. Apparently this is a blind playthrough for him. There is of course Cthulhu the Third. He is actually streaming a bunch of SNES games. He's a very wide selection, I believe thanks to the, uh... I forget what it is. He has one of the Flash cards. He, there's also the Sneak King. He is actually streaming The Completionist for his New Game Plus series. So if you want to actually see the making or the pursuit of completing games, you can always check out The Completionist. And finally, there's Smite. He is looks like he's actually doing another Legend of Zelda randomizer from Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. That's going to do it for me tomorrow. Definitely... I'm definitely feeling like this one's a little is a little bit better, but at the same time, I'm a little surprised it's not as linear as I thought it would be, because I'm always dreaded constant backtracking. But we'll definitely make the most of it, though. It does seem like we can actually. Seems like this actually is probably just as long, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, seems like there's definitely more areas to actually go through. But until then, though, thank you very much for watching, and take care.